Hey everybody, I'm Ron Schmidt. And I'm Amy Schmidt. And today we're gonna to be talking about repurposing our mattress. Well, we just got a new bed, a new foam mattress, and we're getting rid of the old foam mattress and we don't want to put it in the landfill. So we're trying to be creative in ways that we could repurpose it. And I have a great idea. Dog I'm, beds. That's right, I'm gonna cut it up into dog beds. It's a king size bed. I think I can get about 30 beds out of this. <laughs> I think it's gonna be great. Maybe three beds. We're gonna have beds in every room of this house. No, we yes. we have two dogs. We need two beds at the most, and maybe something for the car. It's a big bed though. So a king size bed, we kind of templated it out. We got an idea, uh, most huge. So we need to do a really big one that we can't typically get at the, uh, the pet store. So we have a real big bed. We have one for Louie. We even have one that's gonna go in his crate. We're gonna try that out. The crate is, this high and the mattress is this high. Okay. How small do you think that dog is? Well, if it doesn't work, he'll lay on it in the bedroom or the living room, whatever. Right, we'll so put we'll it try. Somewhere else. And I also templated one out that fits perfectly in the back of the car around the wheel wells and everything. So it's gonna be awesome. Great. We got some special blankets and padding for it. So we're gonna try to make our own covering for them as well, just to protect them and have something that's washable. And all you really need is a utility knife. So we're just gonna cut it with that. We'll draw it with uh, like a Sharpie lines on it and then kind of cut it like that and we'll see how it goes. All well, right. Follow Let's along. Check it out. Yeah. What we have here is a king size bed and we're going to cut four beds out of that king size bed. Number one is going to be Moe's bed, which is at the top and that's a modified twin size bed. That way we can use fitted sheets to, to cover it. The back of the car in black here is more of an adventure. We're not quite sure this is going to work, but we've got foam, so we're going to give it a go. Then we have Louie's crate, which is also kind of small, and this mattress is thick. We'll see how it works. And of course, extra, because, hey, it's always good to have extra. We'll make another bed. Okay, the first thing you need to do is take off this cloth. Uh, it's like cheesecloth uh, over the top of a mattress. I guess each mattress company has their own cloth that covers this thing and keeps all the foam layers together. Then you draw out your lines. Get out your tape measure, draw them out so that you have very concise, clean lines and you know exactly where you're gonna cut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take a straight edge and a utility knife. That's all you really need. Utility knife should have a fresh blade. You might wanna change it a couple times while you're doing it and go right along that straight edge. Okay, this one was kind of tricky because it had holes in the top. Uh, so that made it a little jagged to cut. It kind of was a little awkward, but all you're looking to do is get it started. You go through that first layer, um, you're maybe you're a half an inch thick, and this thing is thick, this mattress. It's like, literally like 14 inches. So you got a lot of cutting to do, and you just have to go over it again, and again, and again, and you work your way all the way to the bottom. You don't need to keep using a straight edge, you just wanna cut it the first time with the straight edge to keep you uh, kind of on direction, and then go into it again, Keep cutting and cutting and cutting just freehanded. Doesn't matter if it's it's wonky or the edges aren't great uh, because you're ultimately gonna wrap it anyway. You're gonna put a blanket over it. You're not even gonna see um, inside what the foam looks like. So just keep at it, keep straight, and be careful with your fingers. And here they are. Works of art? No. But you know what? You got four slabs of foam from one giant slab of foam. That's what we're looking to do. The edges are not so great, doesn't matter. You're not gonna see any of it. Okay. Okay, so here are the things I got for the covers. Um, this one is actually for the car, so we have to make sure it fits in the car first, but it's a waterproof stadium blanket that will fit in the back of the car. Um, and then this is what I got for the mattress. It's, uh, this is for the big mattress. It is a mattress protector that is waterproof. So if the dogs are wet from coming from the beach, hopefully it will keep the mattress clean and dry. And then uh, just a fitted sheet to go over it. So they're twin size and we kind of cut the bed. <laughs> twin size length, um, but not width. So we'll see if we can some kind somehow kind of fold these over and, and make them into some kind of bed covering, maybe with a little Velcro. Let's try it. All right, Anne, let's give it a shot. Okay, so this is the waterproof mattress cover. It's actually just like terry cloth, but it's got 
a waterproof film on the top. So let's. And we cut this bed through a standard width of uh, a twin size bed. Right, so I got a twin size mattress pad, so it should fit across-wise this way pretty well. Perfect. And it's empty pockets now. It's gonna be a little too big on this side, but I'm thinking it will just kinda yeah, fold under. Fold under and you, the weight of it will hold it. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I don't even have to do any cherry top with it. So that protects the first layer. Okay. And then just something that's I mean they're both washable, but just something because that's gonna get dirty in like three seconds. We have just a fitted sheet that we got. Oh yeah, I like this one. This just gray to hide the dirt. Let's see. This is the short side. I never can figure this out between sheets. It's the short side. All right, this should work just the same. So, Louie, this is for you. Perfect. Let's put it on that side. Get down this side nice and snug. Thank you. Pull it down on that side. Not bad. Oh, that's pretty good. And then tuck under. Yeah, you don't even have to. Oh, that's great. So. Let's see if Mo. Hey, Mo. Try it out, buddy. Mo sized. Think? Lay down, Mo, lay down. What do you think? You know, we protected the bed so it doesn't, it's not gonna smell. And we protected the, we have the sheets, they're nice and clean so we can wash them. Too. Nice. What do you think? Good. It's a good size. He's 160 pounds, so. And he's not even laying side to side, so that's good. Okay. All right. You're next, Lou. Okay, there it is. I stuffed it in there. It looks very presentable, right? It's gonna be like Rapunzel. But now, when I open the door here, you're gonna see that the cushion is quite high. All right, let's see if we can do it. <laughs> All right, let's try it out, Lou. Go can ahead, get Lou. In there? Go for it, buddy. Go ahead. <laughs> Wait a second. I can't fit. You can do it. Go ahead, Lou. Can you go in? Go ahead. Can you go in? Can you fit in here? Come on, Lou. Can you go in? Hell no. No. Go in there, Lou. Louie, Lou, go in. Oh, Lou's gonna go in. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lou. Louie. Go ahead. There you go. Oh, this is too big. This is too big for him. <laughs> Look, and you can barely. <laughs> this is hack. All right, maybe we can cut it in half. Let's try to cut it in half. Want to do that? Okay. Too much, Lou. Too much. Hey, we tried. All right, let's cut it in half and see what happens. Sound good? We'll put it next to Mo's bed. Okay. We'll cut it in half. There he is. He's got a view far surpassing Mo. He's like the princess in the pea. There's probably a little pea head under that mattress. I think he likes it. I think he looks sleepy. Look at Mo, he's <laughs> passing out. It's a lot of talk about beds. I think it's time for a nap for everybody. I think Louie's about to go. <laughs> oh, he looks very, very comfortable. <laughs> Night, Lou. All right, Aim, I stuffed it in the car. You stuffed it all right. <laughs> Let's show them. I don't them. think anything can fit in there. Let's try it. Wow. It's thick. It oh, it's really thick. thick. <laughs> it's um, uh, taking up half the, the height of the car. How is Lou even going to get in there? He's a shrimp. Oh my God, it looks like a little uh, oh, okay. RV. No problem. Oh, Louie loves it. <laughs> oh, it's so cozy. It is very plush. I will give it that. And that blanket makes it super cozy. That's a tight squeeze for oh, Mo to get in there. Yeah, I, there's not a lot of 
headroom, literally. Louis showing off, walking around. All right, Mo. Oh, oh, he got in. He did bounce he's his in. Over. There yeah. he's in. Oh, but Louis found the tennis ball. Oh, of course. Well, oh, all right. <laughs> Ah, it's like a sleepover. Oh, they the look like they're enjoying it. My concern is it's a little high. It's a little high. So that's a little dangerous for traveling. Yep. But wow, does it look comfortable? It's good for camping. Yeah, we could sleep on that. I don't know if I'd sleep on that, but <laughs> but it does look cozy, uh, but too high, I think. Yeah, a little too high. Not for Louis, but I mean, think even for Louis too, though. If you had a minivan and you had like a, there were lower compared to the seats in the second row would be pretty good. Oh, that would work. All right, everybody out. Ooh, okay, he got out. Thank goodness. Let's see. Let's try to get back in there. Let's see. All right, yeah. He's a good learner. He likes it. Yeah, it's just too high. Yeah. All right. And he's a good boy. Good boy, Mom. Well, Amy, that worked. It did work. Not how we expected, I but know. it definitely worked. Yeah. Uh, we ended up with one great bed for Moses yeah. and... The car one, um, we can repurpose. And the car one's giant. It's bigger than the one we originally made for Moses. So now Moses has two beds. And I can even trim that one if I want to make it smaller. But uh, we have two really giant beds that'll fit a Moses-sized dog. And uh, definitely Louie, if not three Louis, can fit on that. Me, I could fit on that. Yeah. <laughs> if I get in trouble, I'll, I'll drag it into the garage. And, I have some sheets for you, so gonna, you can, we'll cover it so you don't stink it up. It's gonna work out great. So all in all, a wonderful, quick, easy way to repurpose a foam mattress if you have dogs. Make dog beds. Yeah, good. Sleep well. Good night. <laughs>